In this video, we're going to show you the functionalities of the Sweet CRM Email Drip Campaign Premium Extension. Go to the Admin Panel and click on the Module Loader option. Here, you'll see the Drip Email plugin is already installed on the Sweet CRM. Next, we'll need to complete Step 1, that is, activate the License Key. As you can see the key has been inserted and the product status is verified and active. In step 2, we'll create a new outbound email account for sending drip emails. From here, you can set up an account and see all the existing outbound settings as well. You'll see, we have already created two drip outbound email settings, one for the regular user and another email account for the administrator. After that, we'll proceed to step 3 and create an email drip configuration. This is known as the drip manager. First, we'll give an appropriate name to the setting. Choose a module for which you want to schedule drip emails, we have selected a custom module. And then select a field based on which you want to schedule drips like we have selected the status field. Next, enter the field value for which the drips will schedule automatically. According to this, when the record status will change to new, this drip will automatically assign to it. Then select from the multiple email senders. Right now, we have chosen the admin user. Once the configuration is finished click on the save button. Now, in the same configuration, we'll add a drip controller. Enter a suitable name. Select after how many days the drip will start or you can send instantly as we did. Also, you can choose the time span for the drip. Finally, select an email template that you would like to send. Once done, click on the Save button. Here, you can create multiple drip controllers at distinctive times and email templates. Now, open the custom module and create a new record. Enter necessary information like first name, last name, and email address. Notice, in the status field, we have chosen the new from drop-down, so it matches with our configuration. Click on the save button to create a new record. Here is the record we just created in the custom module. After that, go to the admin panel and click on the drip dashboard option. There is a new entry here showing the information like name, email template sent, drip controller, email sender, and total impressions. Also, you will see the drip has been sent. In our Gmail inbox, we have got the email. Now, we'll send drip from a regular user with a different email login with a different user's credentials then select the all option from the top bar and click on the drip outbound email setting option as you can see there is another user with a different drip outbound email configuration next from the left centralized menu click on the add new drip it will redirect you to the drip dashboard just like we did for the admin user, here we'll fill the name, select the module and field, the value of the field that needs to be matched. Please notice this time the email sender is a regular user. After saving it, we'll create a drip controller from the subpanel. Give a name, schedule a day and time after which the drip email will be sent then choose an email template. Once done click on the save button. Now, we'll open the custom module and then create a new record here. Fill in the details like the first name, last name, email address, and the status field. At last, click on the save button at the top. Here is the record we just created. Now, open the drip dashboard from the left menu. Here, you'll see the record we just created is in the queue right now and once you refresh the page, the status As you gets can changed see, to send. This is the same email address we entered in the record and we also received the drip email. Open the email, you'll see the email sender as a regular user.
we'll unsubscribe from the email. The recipient will get a proclamation regarding the same. If we open the record in the custom module, the email status is changed to opted out here. In the drip dashboard as well the status is changed to user unsubscribed. Now, we'll hit the resubscribe option. In the record, the status is changed back to primary, while the status in the drip dashboard is changed to resubscribed. These are the total impressions on the email so far. After that, select the See All Drip option from the admin panel. In the Drip Manager, you can see all scheduled drips along with the details like Module, Field, Field Value, and Email Sender. You can also check the activities of the recipients in the Drip Activity Logs. It will show you the IP address, the date of drip, the name of the drip, and the date of the recipient's last activity. The Drip Email Sender will get the Drip Controller Summary on their email as well. It will comprise info, mashin like Drip Controller Name, Module Name, Email Template Name, Date, and Time. Thanks for watching.